short video tutorial about how to set up our force plate for our lab. So the first thing we want to do is go to the more sensitive setting, which is the negative 200 to 850 newtons. So click that over. Now we need to set up our data collection. So I'm going to turn on the LabQuest, go to the app, select our sensor, data collection, and we need to increase the rate that we're taking data. We want to go all the way up to 500 data points per second. Now, because it happens so quick, we only need to take data for 0.2 seconds. Now, again, because it happens so quick, we need to turn on the triggering. We don't want the lab quest to start taking data until a certain threshold is crossed. And so to keep the number simple, I'll just select 20 Newtons. You might need to modify that a little bit, but to keep it simple, we will also collect some points before the trigger goes off. 20, great, so we hit okay. We're ready, although it's already reading 30 Newtons. So this has to be done, these sensors are like this, so we just need to zero it out. Okay, there we go. And it's bouncing around. That is why we have the plus or minus in our uncertainty for force. I'm going to arm it, as it's called. So it's waiting for the trigger to go. It's waiting for that 20 Newton threshold. So you would have a meter stick out. You'd have your right number of layers. I'm just going to drop it. And there we go. You can see now we have our data right in the pretty middle of the screen. And we need to get the force and the time. I'm going to get the time just after I select the hump there, the time is 0 0.018 seconds, and we want the average or mean force, so I'm gonna to go to analyze, statistics for force, and see the mean. The mean is 126.6, rounding to the nearest whole number, that's 127 newtons. And we'll repeat until we're done.